Hello everyone and welcome back to Film Sandwich. I'm Kid Ron Burgundy and on today's episode we are diving into the Real C console. Now I did a review video for the Real C Gallus M2 virtual tour camera. You can check out that review with a link in the description below. There's also going to be a link if you wanted to purchase said camera. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the Real C website log in and click on the console. We're going to click on our test project right here and today we're going to work on adjustments. Okay, so let's say you've got some stuff in your uh, panorama uh, images that you don't want there or you want to blur them out or you want to to, you know, adjust some of the color and stuff like that. So we're going to go here to adjust right here on the left hand side. And then we have blur, we have filter, we have replace, and we have remove camera. We'll start with blur, okay? So there might be something in here that you don't want to see, like uh, maybe some information here, like we got some uh, letters here that might have an address or something on there. So you'll just go over here, you'll click on blur, and then you can go over here, it says press and hold down the right mouse button or the left mouse button and shift to add a mosaic. So we're going to click shift and then we're going to do that. And there you have it right there. It has blurred that out right there. So you can click save. And now that is blurred out. Now we're going to go over here to this other little hot spot there, little point, zoom back out. Now there's another one here, like let's say that there's uh, some photos that you want to blur off the faces so people don't have uh, their faces in your tour. So you can go over here to AI portrait recognition. So if you click on there, it's going to tell you it's going to take about 1.5 minutes to do the processing. So we'll click that and we'll wait. All right, so I went ahead and I fast forwarded through there so you don't have to wait, but it was probably a minute and a half, like it said. Um, it, it did go through and it went through all of my uh, points here. So if you look up here on uh, me and my wife's wedding photo, both of our uh, faces are blurred out. Now you can see it doesn't get everybody to maybe if it's a little too small or something like that. Um, but it is AI and AI is getting better as the days go on. So I only see improvements there. Anyways, so that is how you blur things out of the image. And when you click apply, it will apply all of that. It'll probably take a minute or so. All right, now let's go on to filter. So let's say you wanted to adjust some of the color and stuff like that. So you're gonna go over here, click on adjust filters for all points. Or if you only wanted to do a single point, you can just click on a single point and adjust those. See, you would click on the one and then you would adjust it. But this one, we're gonna do it for all points. All right, so you have original, you have bright, you have warm, and then you have custom. So if you click on one of these, it'll change it. But as you can see, it's a little bit blurry and that's because it's got a process and stuff like that. So once you click save, it'll, it'll process it and then you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. So, and then if you go over here to custom, you can customize your saturation, color, temperature, tone, brightness, contrast, highlight, shadow, sharpening, so on and so forth. And once you're done with your adjustments, you'll click save. And then you're all done. You'll have all of your um, points will be adjusted to the uh, same color and uh, um, exposure and everything like that. But hey, maybe you're outside or, or in a darker area, you might have to have specific adjustments for things. So that's when you'll come over here to the single adjustment. All right, next we're going to replace. Now I don't have a panorama to replace another panorama here. But basically what happens is if, if, if something was wrong with your panorama image in your tour, you could come over here 
and you could, uh, you know, if you had another panorama image ready to go to replace it, you can click on upload. It'll give you some, uh, you know, resolution and some uh, size requirements here. You can either do a panorama or a cube. So a cube is like a 3D file, I believe. And that also has some resolution requirements and size restrictions there. So if you needed to do that, if you needed to replace an image, you can do that here. Uh, last but not least is remove camera. Now this is for if you say got like uh, the camera in a mirror or something, a reflection. And basically what it's supposed to do is use AI to detect that and get rid of it. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate that for you right now because I don't have an image that has the camera in it, but that is what it is for. All right, I wanna thank everyone for joining me for this tutorial. That's gonna be all for today. We'll see you in the next one.